Julius, Julius Bow Bow Unplugged Julius Bow Bow Julius Julius Bow Bow Unplugged Julius Bow Bow Unplugged At ako ay nashock doon sa balitang uh, nabasa ko ngayon na yung sneakers na in auction sa Sotheby's ni Michael Jordan na may signature niya Chicago Jordan 1 ay pumalo ng 560,000 US dollars so in peso that's about uh, 28 million <laughs> Original ones, yeah, so they're wearable because um, midsole is rubber, made out of rubber. Compared to sa mga Jordan 2, Jordan 4, they're polyurethane and um, nag crumble sila over time. Mm. So, kaya to, pwede pa so din to, when yung pang basketball, when yung pang hiking, nila 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 Pero yung ibang naka-display natin, uh -huh. may mga pinang-basketball kami doon, uh -huh. hindi pumiyak. Pinatid ko last talaga si Jordan 1. So, parang it's a good investment, kahit yung mga new pairs ng Jordan 1. So, uh, it's built to last. Oh guys, ang actual price niya before, uh, as indicated in the tag sa box, is $64.99. $64.99. J1 na yan, ha? Itong... Uh, Chicago na to. So how much is it now? Kung po convert natin? Mga around around 3,300 pesos. 3,300 pesos. And now it's selling for how much? Kung bibili mo ganito. Um you, as mentioned earlier, it's 5,000 US dollar average realistically. <laughs> 3,000 uh, plus pesos. Pero sa actual price 50 plus thousand yen. 150,000 pesos ang halaga po ito. Wow! So imagine nyo, from $64 plus, no? Dumalabas sa computation natin, mga 3,200 pesos lang yon. Ngayon, nire-resell siya yung mga 1985 na mga OG sneakers at 250,000 pesos. Tapos, itong may signature lang ni Michael Jordan made a lot of difference and was sold for 28 million pesos. OMG! Ang layo! From 3,200 pesos to 28 million. Saan ka pa makakakita ng ganun? So, this pair of sneakers uh, was used by Michael Jordan in 1985 in a game and it was signed by Michael Jordan dun sa kanyang ankle. What's interesting about these sneakers, nung nilista nila ito, yung isang pair is size 13. While the other pair is 13.5. So, medyo magkaiba yung uh, pares ng sneakers. And amazingly, guys, no? Kung gagamitin mo yung 28 million na yon to buy Jordan 1s at this time, you'll be able to buy almost 5,000 pairs of sneakers na Jordan 1 mids na nakakalaga ng mga $100. Uh, it was owned by uh, Jordan Geller the founder and owner of the famous museum in Las Vegas. Uh, meron siyang uh, mga 2,000 plus na pair of uh, sneakers to sa kanyang uh, museum. And initially, it was estimated to fetch for around $100,000 to $150,000. So itong 28 million na ito is really unexpected. Uh, kasi nga may hype dun sa Last Dance si uh, Jordan Geller made sure na maisabay na ito itong auction na ito para kahit papano tumaas yung uh, uh, value. In between these shoes is a pair of game worn and autographed Air Jordan 1s. You can see the autograph right here. So Michael Jordan wore these right when they got released? These are game worn and signed Air Jordan 1s from back in the day. They're dated 1985 on here. So these Air Jordan 1s have a great story. I bought them off of eBay and when the auction was ending, I was on an airplane. And I use a program called eSnipe to win auctions for me when I'm not at the computer. On eSnipe, you can go in, enter an item number, how much you're willing to pay, and it'll place the bid for you at the last second. Mm -hmm. My flight was landing just at the time when this auction was ending, and I already had my eSnipe thing 
on auto bid or whatever. And as the plane's descending, I've got my phone and I'm like refreshing it and trying to like get that little bit of coverage to let me know that I won the auction. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, I got those emails from eBay saying, congratulations, you won. And I practically sprung up out of my airplane seat while the plane was landing. And how much did those cost? They were just over $5,000. Okay. Great deal. Like how much are those worth right now? I'd say they're worth at least 20,000. But before I paid for them, I actually reached out to Nike. When Nike was paying my rent, they sent a bunch of executives and designers and employees to come by on tour. Okay. So I met the people that work in the ultimate Nike vault. Okay. And I called them and I was like, hey, I just won these Game Worn Air Jordan 1s on eBay. Would you mind looking at the listing and look at the pictures and look at the signature and can you verify that this is what it says it is? Mm -hmm. And they got back to me about an hour later. It was really nice of them to even take the trouble to do it. And they said that they compared the pictures and the signature with about a dozen different pairs that they had in their vault <laughs> and that everything was spot on. One shoe's a 13, another shoe's a 13 and a half, which is something that Michael Jordan did. So that oh, further okay. helps oh, he authenticate wore, He them. wore mismatch sizes. Yes. You know, so to think that somebody would break out two separate pairs from 1985, a 13 and a half and a 13, and mismade them and then scribble Michael Jordan's signature in there, it seems yeah. pretty far-fetched. So beyond the mere certification, once I got the shoes in hand, I actually sent them off to PSA DNA for another certificate of authenticity just for the signature itself. Sa kanyang statement before the auction, sinabi ni Shazium on a Jordan na owning this pair has been a real pleasure. And with all the excitement surrounding Michael Jordan and The Last Dance, my wife and I decided that it's time to let the shoes find a new home. Daw dyan sa hammer price na yan, siya na ang record holder ng pinakamataas na sneaker sa buong mundo. And last year, ang pinakamataas noon ay ang moon shoe na nabenta sa halagang $437,000. Uh, mas mababa siya ng 123,000 US dollars dun sa nabenta ngayon na MJ Jordan 1 sneakers. Wow! Amazing guys, no? So, mag-iisip-isip ka na ngayon eh. Ngayon mga panahon na ito, iba ng klase guys, no? Ang sneakers, investment na. Para na siyang artwork na through the years, pag naalagaan mo ng gusto at medyo uh, maganda yung kanyang historical uh, background, lalo na kung mapipirmahan ito ng isang sikat na personality, let's say for example, isang sikat na basketball player, isang sikat na artista, o mapirmahan yan ng mga designer like Travis Scott, o kaya Kanye West, Virgil Abloh. Pag pirmado yung mga sneakers na yun, oh guys, hindi mo alam, baka ilang years from now eh, million-million uh, na rin ang halaga nito mga sneakers na ito. Kasi ngayon pa lang nga, eh, hindi pa napipirmahan ng ibang mga celebrities yung mga sneakers. Eh, ang tataas na ng, ano, ng presyo sa secondary market. So, pataas ng pataas yung value. So, it makes us think, guys, no, na ang sneakers, pwede pa rin siyang investment. Pwede pa rin isipin na hindi lang siya basta-basta luho, kundi pwede pa rin siyang mapakinabangan balang araw. But of course, if you're buying sneakers, Uh, ang una-una natin dapat isipin, yung may enjoy natin to, no? yung magagamit natin. Uh, hindi naman natin lalas pagin, kundi gagamitin lang natin. Uh, pero kung itatago mo lang siya for investment, well, uh, pwede nyo gawin yon. Pero hindi mo rin alam. Uh, hindi ka sure kung parang araw tataas talaga yung value nun or hindi. Pero kung ginamit mo na siya, at least nagagamit mo pa siya, pero iingatan mo rin to make sure na itong sneakers na ito, kung sakasakali man lang, no? na mas tumaas pa ang value niya balang araw, at least intact pa rin siya. So, pwede mo pa rin siyang i-auction balang araw, pwede mo pa rin siyang i-resell, yun naman. Basta ang importante na enjoy nyo ngayon yung sneakers na yan. Kaya nga minsan guys, no, tinanong natin si Big Boy Cheng, si Sancho Papa, kung ano ang kanyang reason kung bakit nangongolekta siya ng mga sneakers eto yung kanyang explanation. Pero yung nga sinasabi ko nga sa ano, mga isa, yung din exact din. Uh -huh. Investment na rin sa bagos na uh -huh. At saka tumataas ang presyo. Depende talaga, dapat marunong ka rin mag-alaga. Uh -huh. Para ka bumibili ng painting na rin. Uh -huh. Iba na ngayon. Uh -huh. Kung baga hindi lang siya luho, 
Multi investment. Oh, ganun uh, kasi tumataas ang value. Yes, yes. yes. Saka ma, ano, hindi na nasisira dahil ang dami nang nagre-restore, marami nang basta matibay lang sa bago din. So I ask yung mga kasama natin dito kung ano ba ang gagawin nila sa halagang 28 million. Ano ba ang katumbas nitong uh, Michael Jordan sneakers na ito sa pag-iisip no sa priorities ng iba nating mga kababayan. So tinanong ko ngayon kung ano masasabi nila dito. Eh kung may 28 million kayo oy, oy, sa banko, oy, oy, oy. ha? Fred, ano ang gagawin niyo sa 28 million? Ako bibili ng bahay, kotse, tsaka business. Uy, galing. Oy, ikaw. Ako franchise ng alcohol tsaka face mask <laughs> lalo ng panahon ng COVID. Kala ko kung anong franchise bibili mo. <laughs> alcohol, ha? Alcohol. Oo, oh, tama. May okay, punto. O, Rabi, ikaw. Ako pa po, bahay, kotse, at saka stock sa stock market. Yeah. Yun. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, friend, ikaw. Ano? Bahay. Tapos yung pag-aaral ng anak kong dalawa. Oo. Oh. Educational plan. Tira nyo, no? Ang dami palang mararating ng 28 million. Correct. Pero yung iba, ibinili lang ng sneakers. <laughs> Believe it or not, 28 million na halaga ng sneakers. Yes! Oh. Actually, marami na mga Jordan memorabilia na available noon pa man, no? But uh, it makes a lot of difference na ngayon na timing, yung documentary na number one, no? Sa Netflix about uh, Michael Jordan, yung The Last Dance. Oh, napakaganda ng timing nun para mas tumaas pa yung value ng mga Jordan sneakers. And, ang swerte nung may-ari nitong uh, Jordan 1 na ito na signed by Michael Jordan at uh, humataw nga sa auction na halos kasabay ng pagtatapos ng series which is uh, Monday, today, no? Uh, supposedly, lalabas yung final two episodes ng The Last Dance. So, uh, nagkataon, no? Nasabay yung hype ng uh, documentary doon sa usap-usapan tungkol sa mga MJ memorabilias. Kaya, humataw ng husto itong sneakers na ito. Kaya, wow! What a lucky guy! Congratulations to whoever won the sneakers sa uh, auction na to. Um, undoubtedly, you have a lot of money to spare So, uh, we respect that I mean, okay lang yan, no? Kung marami ka namang pera oh, Yan ang magbibigay sa'yo na kaligayahan So, so be it Pero ang pinakamalaking winner talaga dito Is yung seller Itong sneakers na ito Imagine from 3,200 pesos Ngayon, nabenta niya ng 28 million pesos Wow! Grabe, grabe talagang blessing to sa kanya. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. Marod na tayo ng The Last Dance ni Michael Jordan. Final two episodes, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and post your comments below. Ano? Anong gagawin nyo sa 28 million pesos kung kayo ay meron ito? Okay? Post your comments and your answers below. Bye, guys!